is a really fast way to make great collage art. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for joining me. I can't wait till you see what we're creating today. You're going to love this. So yes, I did get a little carried away creating the prints this week. <laughs> And now I've caused more of a problem because I have to decide which ones I'm going to use for my fabulous collage in my art journal. Now I'm loving these beautiful little ones. I love the colors and the feel of it, but I'm also loving the glorious bird in flight. So somehow I have to narrow it down. I'm going to put one on each page which color scheme do we want to work with and which particular bird print do we like the best. So I'm going to make something really quick, really simple and really easy. And to do that, I'm pulling out my digital collage papers. Now these beautiful papers are an instant download. You can access them on Etsy. And I really put in a lot of thought and time to make beautiful, glorious freedom and birds. I know, I know, I absolutely love this theme. It makes me so happy. So I'm going to use some of my digital collage papers. Now I have printed these out onto uh, laser print copies because I like to splash paint and inks and the matte medium on the pages, but you can print them out just with your inkjet printer. You might, however, if you want to spray or add paints to your page, perhaps you could seal your inkjet prints with a varnish, like a spray varnish. A matte spray varnish is probably your best idea. Or you could put a layer of the matte gel medium on them as well. That would also seal them because you don't want all the inks to run once you start throwing some paint around or putting some water on them. They're absolutely glorious. Like I said, I make a lot of effort for my digital collage papers to be absolutely beautiful. Now, don't let that be intimidating because you want to use them for your collage background, but you do want to cover over them um, and create multiple layers. Don't get stuck with, oh my gosh, I've got this beautiful page. Now I can't put anything on it. No, that's not what they're for. They're actually to inspire you, to kickstart your creativity, to get you moving. So if you have a bit of a fear of the blank page, then these fabulous collage papers will help you to kickstart your creativity and get you moving in a direction that you want to go. You might not stay in that direction. You might deviate into all sorts of detours, but at least you'll get moving. So this idea is fabulous if you have trouble starting or if you're scared of that absolute white, blank, empty page. It's fabulous idea for that. And they're absolutely beautiful. They are all my artworks and you are very welcome to use them and incorporate them into your projects. So I'm definitely going to go with this idea once I decide which birds I'm going with because I just love all of them. I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to go with this page. Ah, uh, the birds, they'll have to wait. I'm thinking perhaps this glorious bird and he might have to run over because he's not going to fit on one page. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm thinking this beautiful bird can go that way. And something like that is going to happen. <laughs> something, something like this with these glorious colors. Oh, I just love them. And these glorious prints with the fabulous masks from Piamana Studio. Now you have to look at that video when I made these fabulous prints because it was so much fun and the techniques are just so simple. I know you're going to really enjoy making them. Okay, so I've trimmed off the white from the edge of the downloaded um, printables, my collage papers, and now I'm going to just stick the paper on as my background and I'm really not sure where we're headed after that. What I love about digital collage papers is that it's instant. <laughs> I just love the instant download. It's fantastic. It's so fast. It's so easy. And there you have it. You're ready to go to stick your pages on. Yippee. I love that so much. Right. These are just beautiful. I love using them. I always test them, print them out and make sure I'm happy with them. 
before I release them. Yay, and I'm just loving these ones. I do have quite a few different varieties of colors and textures on my Etsy store, so make sure you go and have a look. Look at that, instant. We're already <laughs> full of color and shape and inspiration, and it's just so fun. Now, I am loving this one, but it's going to have to be um, torn down because it's way too big for my page. Giving it a bit of a rough tear around the edge because I want it to be a little bit rugged. I'm loving the line of the torn edge and that's just going to look really good. Right, so that's a good start. I'm loving these colors. They're just beautiful. And the shape of those wings. Oh, we're going up and over the edge like that. Something like that. And then we'll figure out what other papers we want to add to add some more layers. And this side, I think we're going to use this one. Right, so I think it's going to go on something like that. The beautiful bird. Now, what else are we going to add? Clearly, I need to add some paper down the middle here because I can't have that big gap. That's not working for me loving my patterns in here and my textures maybe i'll pull out some of the taperology paper the white paper because that would sit nicely under there i might have a rummage to find some more of uh, the bits and pieces from my last taperology box that could work and we need something else for over here as well now i'm loving my background colors so whatever i put on i want it to be transparent so that these fabulous colors and textures are going to show through now this is the taperology paper and this pattern and design would match really well with what's already on the page so i think i would definitely put some of this maybe this much of it on a strip behind the bird now my bird's going to sit on top so I'm going to have to decide on what papers I want to put on before I stick the bird on because he's going to be sitting on top like that. So I think this would add a really nice texture behind the bird and it go, will go quite transparent once I glue it on. But it'll give me a lovely texture on my page. It'll create another layer which is more interesting for my collage and I think it'll work really well. Let's put it somewhere like that. And that's a great start. Righto, I'm pretty happy with that layer. The bird will go something like that. Now I'm gonna have to put a, something at the bottom and something down the middle there. And I was rummaging through my taperology papers and I found this. This I used to mop up something when I was printing the other day and I've just used all the excess off my palette that I was using for the printing and I picked up one of the taperology papers and just used it as a cleanup. Now that's going to look absolutely fabulous and I'm definitely going to put it on this side with the bird because the texture of the uh, paint on it is just going to look great and you're still going to see the colors coming through underneath but then it will have a little bit of the beautiful golden bronze fine so the question is do i want it at the bottom or should i put it at the top it would look pretty good up there as well either or bottom or top which one, <laughs> which one? <laughs> the top or the bottom <laughs> i don't know it'll look great up there or it'll look great down there hmm maybe we'll just leave let it sit there for the moment as we consider our options and the other thing I have that I love when I want to keep my backgrounds is the beautiful um, bubble wrap print on tissue because the tissue goes quite transparent but you're left with this gorgeous print so we could put that down the bottom that'd look really nice that one or the small one, either one would look pretty cool. I'm thinking the big one, yeah, all right. I'm gonna try that, put that down and see how that looks. And then see how already this side's going quite transparent with that beautiful white. Let's find some other fabulous things to put behind this bird. 
So how do you like to store your jelly prints? I like to put mine in these clear plastic folders according to colors or else on the days that I was printing a particular batch because I tend to print a whole heap at once like all these birds. <laughs> And then if I file them all together, I know where to find them. I also put them into blocks of color. So I just pulled out this file from in my drawer where I knew I would have blues. And in this, I'm going to find something that's going to work to put down the middle of the page or across the bottom there. That's pretty nice, actually. That's a rather beautiful print, and so is this one. Either of these will work. So if you organize your prints according to color and according to the style or the types of the printing that you did in the day that you had your creative frenzy, they're really easy to find when you want looking for something in particular. This one could work really well for on this page because it's got the similar patterns and feel of what the background colors are. Or even this one, if I want to get really dramatic, that's pretty nice too. That's got a great pattern on it. I just find by being super organized, I can find my prints easy and then it all just works smoother and faster and it's more fun. So then it all comes down to just deciding, which is harder than you think. <laughs> this will work well and we'll just put it down the middle. I'll give the top and the bottom section a trim once it's dried and it'll look fabulous. Right, so the gap at the bottom and the gap down the middle is all filled up. It's looking beautiful. I love these colors and textures. They make me happy. <laughs> right, beautiful birds going on that side. This beautiful birds going on this side and we're putting this at the top to add texture to there. right? Oh, let's do that. I love the way with this paper, you can still see the background coming through. That was the plan. Stan, and it's working out glorious. I mean, it looks pretty good for a cleanup sheet. <laughs> Make sure when you're cleaning up, when you're jelly printing, that you're putting it onto beautiful paper because hello, look how glorious that looks. That's gonna be fabulous. That's gonna be under there. And I'm gonna add some of my bubble wrap yeah the bubble wrap down the bottom here to add some more texture to this side really simple techniques but really effective it doesn't have to be tricky or complicated to make great art i'm loving this it's extremely therapeutic it's very relaxing <laughs> that makes me happy so the background's down my bird's going to go on something like that. Right, so they're both down now. The background looks great. And how simple was the whole process? So easy, so quick. And we've created beautiful art. Yay, winning. Now I still want to find something there. And I do like the way you can see that textured pattern and the multiple layers. The circles look great, so, you know, might have to go and find something. What about one of these? I pulled this out of my taperology box. These could work really well. They have kind of really groovy circles with numbers. I think it's like calendar or dates or I forget what it's called, actually, but it looks really, really cool. Look, like that. Yes, yes, that totally would work. Which one? Which number do we like? I'm liking the green. It's kind of going with the turquoise and this other, which was a pastel aquamarine color on the print. That'd work really nice. Or this one. Or all of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking that. Let's do that. That's just a bit of fun. So I could leave it alone, but did you really think I was going to? <laughs> I've got this glorious serviette. I love it. I've got, I had a massive packet of it and I keep using it. I put it in my inspiration pack so other people are using it. It's beautiful. I don't know where I got it from, but, but I'm loving the feathers. The color's working. We have to use some. Let's cut some of that 
and put it down there. That'll just look beautiful. Now, when you're using serviettes, don't forget you have to peel uh, the paper off the back so that you've got just the top layer. Otherwise, you try and stick it on and it all goes bubbly. I know because I've done it. So peel the second tissue layer off your serviette before you stick it on. And if it's a three-ply serviette, then you'll have two layers of the tissue and that um, will need removing before you use the beautiful image. So yay, just going to have to do it. So I've cut it down to three of the beautiful feathers and I'm definitely putting it over here. So I'm thinking somewhere like that. And that's going to look just beautiful. Now, what I love about serviettes is they're so soft. They're like using tissue. The background often goes transparent. They're easy to put on like, hello, that took two whole seconds. And they're fun to pick up along the way, wherever you are out and about and you see some glorious serviettes, whatever colors. I've got them in so many different colors. I absolutely love using them. So that's gonna look fabulous. And are we done yet? Well, maybe not because I just went through my prints from my fabulous birds and I've pulled this one out and I'm loving it. Look at the glorious copper. So this is using the same fabulous masks as this one. And I've put it onto white paper, pulled it with the glorious metallic copper and then I've sprayed it with the eye zincs. I know it's so simple. I'm telling you, these techniques are so simple. I want to put one of the birds up here. Which one? Do I want them looking that way or looking that way? I don't know. <laughs> Me and my bright ideas. I don't know how I want it now, but I just want it, right? <laughs> so I have to have it. I think I might just have to try both of them to see which one I like better. And you don't know until you actually try. The idea mightn't look any good at all. We might end up scrapping the idea entirely. But this is the first option of bringing the glorious copper color onto the page. Cute little things they are. Oh man, I'm loving that color. What can I say? <laughs> What can I say? I'm just loving that colour. But can we just have it all by itself? Maybe, baby. What about if we add some of the circles? Maybe without the months. Maybe like that. Yeah, I don't mind that idea. That's a bit of fun. But you know, if we've got two, we're going to have to have three, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we could put another circle over here. Maybe a smaller one. You know what we could do? We could add some copper onto that centerpiece uh, to bring that color over across to that page. We could add a bit of copper on there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's do that. Right, I put that down. Now I'm pretty sure my spray ink bottle is going to be the right size and I've got some copper on my palette. So here goes nothing, right? <laughs> you got to try these things. I keep telling you, you got to try these things. If I hate it, I can always put something else over it. But you got to at least try. Ta-da! Well, that's not too bad. It's a bit thin. Let's do it again. Oh, that's better. Yes. Not so scared there. <laughs> I'm loving the copper. I think that's a beautiful addition to our page of bronze and aqua, gorgeous turquoise color. Yep, I'm loving it. Oh, look, it's also showing up a little bit there. Loving this. Should we put it there? No, it's too small. Oh, okay, but I could put one of these uh, from my mark making session, which... Mm, might be a little stuck together, but I could tear off one of those. That could work really well. A little bronze circle. And that one, like that, something like, yeah, that'll work. That'll work, look at that. All right, cooking with gas, baby. Okay, this time I think I'm done. 
<laughs> ah, much happier now. Got my tiny circle of copper over there, matching this cute little bird here. That bird's glorious, loving my feathers. The background's beautiful. You can see the white paper on the background collage paper there now. It looks glorious, loving it. That bird's gorgeous. Okay, I'm happy. And they are some pretty easy techniques and this is a really fast way to get you motivated and get moving and get your collage paper happening. So have a look at my digital collage papers on my Etsy store because I know you're going to find something there that you love. It's a fabulous way to create fast collage, to get inspired and to have a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love the collage that we made and I loved sharing it with you. Now, don't forget, if you want more information on where to find the art supplies or the links and the discount codes, have a look in the description and I've got a playlist for you if you've missed any of the episodes. So I'll see you again next time. Happy creating.